Yeah, good afternoon, Bridget. All right, Danny, uh, who addressed the press conference and what's the NPP saying now on the William case? Yeah, the, the press conference was addressed by the communications director of the New Patriotic Party, and they are basically raising concerns for the ruling that um, Justice Adjutant Sam made with regard to the Wyoming case, which was ruled somewhere some few days ago. Now, the MPP is saying that um, they have been vindicated, that's their plenary state, that they have been vindicated by the ruling that all this while the NDC, what they claim all this while the NDC government has developed no interest in terms of retrieving the money from Wyoming. And now they are also asking um, government to currently prosecute all government officials who are involved um, in this Wyoming saga, all those names for instance, um, Madame Bessie Bordizo, who was then the former Attorney General, uh, Mr. Bessie Bordizo. The New Patriotic Party is demanding that these um, public officials should be brought before books, should be brought to justice. And secondly, they are also asking government to retrieve the money with the current exchange rate. And if you could remember, government um, paid the money to Mr. Oyeme about 51 point to 8 million Ghana cities. Now, they want the government to collect the money with the current exchange which will amount to 130 million cities. That's basically what the New Patriotic Party is asking government to do currently. And they are also yep. asking Ghanaians to rise up and fight and put pressure on government to collect all this money from Mr. Agresi Woyomen. All right, but Danny, uh, that's, the ruling did not talk about the money. Yeah, when you listen to the leadership of the MPP, they, they, they cited the initial ruling by the Supreme Court, which was a civil case, and they expected the Supreme Court directed government to collect the money from Mr. Agbesi Woyom before the criminal cases were preferred against Mr. Agbesi Woyom. Now, what the High Court did, according to the MPP, was to only deal with the uh, criminal aspect um, of it. The criminal issues brought before Mr. Woyome, but the court said what the prosecution brought before it against Mr. Woyome were just shoddy and like a desica. All right. Um, Danny, has Nana Akufuadi's case come up? The, um, the pressure group asking uh, Nana Akufuadi to pay some money for using state vehicles for 19 months. Yeah, we spoke to um, the national youth organizer of the NPPP, of the NPP, Mr. Samuel, Eruko, Eruko, who yes. was telling us that um, there are available records indicating that Mr. Nana Ado, Danko Kufado, did not use public official vehicles for his campaign. And he's even telling the group inside Ghana that if indeed, because we're listening to the leadership of inside Ghana, they quoted that Nana Ado spent about 780 million cities and other government public vehicles which were in possession to conduct. That is 2008 um, presidential campaign, by which um, finally won him the flag bearer for the NPP in 2008. Now, Sanoku is saying that the leadership of the inside Ghana could possibly go to court for the court to make a determination whether indeed Nana Rodan Kweku Fado made use of public official vehicles for his campaign. All right, thank you, Nan Daniel Opoku. They're rehashing the NPP is rehashing the issues that have been raised and concerns that have been raised in relation to the Woyeme case.